What's going on, my Pentaholics fans? Today we're going to be watching Pentatonic's music video of Hallelujah, and I can't wait to see it. From all my years in acapella, I can tell you this song just hits the spot. It's such a beautiful one. I did see the music video when it first came out, probably like it says four years ago on YouTube, but I think I saw it three years ago. I watched it when I was just getting into acapella, or maybe I had joined the Devil Clefs at the time. If you're unaware of what I'm talking about, I was in an acapella group called the Devil Clefs at ASU. There's a card right here or here if you want to see a video reaction of me reacting to a viral song that we sang. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was a Billie Eilish mashup. But aside from my acapella history, this Hallelujah by Pentatonix, this is going to be a treat. And I'm, I mean, you guys have seen the music video, so let's get to it. It's time to react. I've heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do you? Jeez. So peaceful. Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift, the baffled king composing Okay, I'm so glad I'm watching this again, like years later, because I can tell you right now with just more audio experience, listening to more acapella, just getting more familiar with audio in general, how it works, that's phenomenal. Combining the bass with like all the other parts, I literally felt like I was listening to a subwoofer. <laughs> a subwoofer was added into this music video. That was great blending. I, I loved all of their chemistry and their work together, and now they're gonna get into the verse. And I mean, this is again, just the beginning, and it sounds beautiful. You got me hooked. The bass, outstanding. Everybody is outstanding, because I, I can't pick and choose like what singer's the best. They, they, they just blend so well. They work together collectively as a team. Of course, I had to pause it on Mitchell and his hat, because he always has the most interesting fashion. Or, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> Wrong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof. Her beauty in the moonlight overthrew you. She tied you to the kitchen chair. She broke your throne wow. and she cut your hair. And from your lips, she drew. I am literally getting the chills right now as I'm watching this video. Um, this is just unbelievable. Man, just li again, listening to this like years later down the road, not too long but down the road, but yeah, wow. And man, just Avi Kaplan, the, his vocal range going from super bass to now singing a baritone and just making it sound so beautiful, just giving that peace and harmony and just, I don't know, there's something about his voice that just really gave me the chill. It's really a shame he isn't with pentatonics anymore. But let's continue. You're obviously, if you've seen my channel, you know I'm gonna make this comment, but holy crap, Kirsten looks incredible as always. That hair blended with that jacket, man, just absolutely beautiful. Continuing. The chills again. <laughs> everywhere in my body right now.
get it, Mitchell. But all I've ever learned from love was how to shoot somebody who outdrew you. And it's not a cry that you hear at night. It's not somebody who's seen the light. It's a call. How the hell is a man able to sing that high in that range? I've heard Brendan Urie do it, but he has to really prep his voice. Mitch, just put him on stage. Just one glass of water, maybe a few hours of sleep, and he can still ah, just like make that happen. Just hallelujah. I mean, of course, I'm falsettoing it, but he's like not falsettoing it. He's using his high tenor range. Like, wow. Mitch just continues to shock and amaze me with his incredible singing talent, and I'm so glad he's still in Pentatonix. I really hope the current members of Pentatonix don't leave, and Pentatonix just doesn't form into some other different acapella group, and then suddenly... I'm getting off topic, but anyway, let's continue watching. <laughs> Love that uh, lens flare. so much for watching this video. We love you so much. We hope you love this song and all the songs on a Pentatonix Christmas. You bet I do. You can get that album. Just look in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> don't forget. Love Very you. Great. Love y'all. You heard him. So beautiful, guys. So beautiful. Okay, so as you've seen by my reaction, I have a lot to say about this music video. For one, I love the cinematic style they chose to use. I think it was a drone that they had flying around in the desert, or that could have been a green screen. I'm pretty sure they didn't actually go all the way to the desert. They probably filmed this in a studio, had a nice green screen behind them, or blue screen, and they filmed everything on that screen, walking around. Because again, the green screen is probably one of the main key factors in how they were able to get that beautiful desert background. And as always, the singers, man, they're just so so talented. They all blended so very well together. I was I was commenting on Avi Kaplan's voice earlier when he was singing the, um, I think it was the baritone to tenor range. But gosh, there was just something about his vibrato that just really stood out and it just gave me the chills. I practically got the chills throughout the entire song. And Kirsten Maldonado, like, wow, just amazing. Very beautiful too, always. I'm always going to say that in every one of their music videos because she is and she, she knows it, I hope. No, I think Kirsten knows that she's beautiful. I think every single one of those Pentatonix members knows that they're beautiful. I really like how the arrangement started off soft, then it came to a gradual build, and then you hear boom, ba 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 boom, ba 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 boom, ba 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 boom, boom, boom. And they used their feet. I don't know if they actually used their feet in the actual recording, but you know, their feet, their hands, everything, and it was it was kind of like you know boom, ba da da da, boom, ba da da da. So I really liked that beat and how they built up that momentum to really give you that satisfaction. But overall, yeah, I'm definitely glad I came back to this music video after I first watched it a few years ago, and I'm definitely seeing more to the song than I did before. Having more of an educated background in music, acapella, filmmaking. So it was fun to watch it a few years ago, and I was probably like, oh, that's pretty cool. I wonder how they did that. And now I'm kind of like, oh, so I, I see what they did there. They did this, 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 and maybe they did this. But again, I'm not 100% accurate, I, I assume. But I know there are some things that you guys know about this music video that I probably don't. 
So definitely comment below if I'm missing anything in regards to this music video, like any behind the scenes stuff, how the arrangement was made, um, you know, how they filmed this. And I've heard from many people there are like behind the scenes videos of how these music videos were done. So if there is something like that, then please comment below and let me know because I'd love to learn more about how they did this if I'm missing anything. But yeah, overall, great music video. I loved watching it and I hope you guys enjoyed watching the reaction. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button and let the YouTube algorithm know that you enjoyed the video and would like to see more videos just like it. As well, if this is your first time at Jeffrey Hike Music and you enjoyed what you watched, then I would highly suggest subscribing down below and hitting that bell so you don't miss another upload from Jeffrey Hike Music. It's really weird to say my name in third person sometimes, but you know what? I don't care! Or do I? I want to give a big shout out to one of my Patreon supporters. They do not wish to be called by name over the internet, and I highly respect that. But I just want to say thank you so much for all your support and what you have to donate to me um, each month. It really helps out with my YouTube videos and helps me become a better content creator because, you know, the entertainment industry is expensive and it's hard. <laughs> so thank you for subscribing and committing yourself as a Patreon supporter. If you'd also like to check out what else I do aside from making YouTube videos, then I have my website and my video description down below, which you should definitely check out as well. If you guys are also big into merchandise, be sure to check out some Pentatonix merchandise in my description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching my video as always. I greatly appreciate all the support you guys give to this channel. And if you are new and want to subscribe, then I would thank you so much if you did that. If you like this video, then chances are you're going to probably like this video too. But if that's not the video you're looking for, then let the YouTube algorithm decide for you. Keep those suggestions coming. I want to react to more stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video.